devil doesn't joke with what is called potential. Potential, I think we did at school, that is stored energy. It's stored capacity that is not yet released. It's not yet unleashed. It's still stored. So there is storage of serious potential in these children. Serious greatness. So that's why the devil wants to destroy them. Because he knows if he destroys your child today, there is a big possibility that he has destroyed a great leader for tomorrow. There is a, a maybe a great economist who will transform Africa. He is maybe in a Sunday school somewhere. So the devil wants them to take drugs. That's why he's introducing gay in these children. He, most of them now are into drugs. They are now into so many things. Why is the devil releasing Christ or meth? All these drugs that we are hearing children are now taking. One thing that I want you to know, people, he is after the potential that is in these children. So if as a church we sleep in that area, by the time we wake up, all our children will be in the hands of the devil. And they will be drug addicts. The reason why he wants them to have drugs, because he also knows when they become drug addicts, it's difficult for them to be set free. Because once you are a drug addict, the rehabilitation process that you have to go through, I think Dr. Mocho, you are a psychiatrist, you know. You, you, I, I know they have got a hospital, a, a clinic in Kingsdale where they put, and it's a lot of children that are there, mostly teenagers that are, that are being rehabilitated there because of the issue of drugs. And some of them started at a very young age. Why? Because he wants to destroy them. Do you know some of you, you don't know that your children, even now, some of your children, they now watch pornography. Seven-year-old, I pray for them. Grade five is now already watching pornography and doing masturbation. They now know a lot, more than you think you, they know. Some of them have been raped. Why does the devil cause these children to be raped when they are young? So that they are bitter, so that their potential is emasculated so that it's crippled, it's twisted. And by the time they want to show up, they have got a lot of baggage to deal with, which will take them 20 years or 10 years of rehabilitation. So already he has killed something that was going to bless us. So he wants their deliverance to be very, very, very laborious and very tough. It must be a tough process for them to get freedom.